Sí. Dixie, what are you doing? Go away. It's me, Tad. Open the door. Leave me alone. Look, I know this is a shock, but it's me. I swear I'm alive. Look, I promise everything is going to be okay. Look, I know who you are. I know why you're doing this. Adam's paying you off. I wouldn't take a dime from Adam Chandler. Yeah, right. I hate his guts. You know that. He screwed us up so many times before. What would I have to do with him? Stop it, stop it, stop Look. it. Look, the only decent thing Adam Chandler has ever done in his entire life is to drop this custody suit. It's over. Don't you see? It's okay. You can keep Junior. You can come home. If you were really Tad, you'd know how I feel about Adam, okay? All right, all right. Then don't believe Adam. Believe me. Believe you. I know who you are, okay? I have seen you before. You're I know. I know. On the bridge. I saw you too, but I, I didn't... You're a very sweet woman. She would be rolling over in her grave if she knew you were doing this. Dixie, my mother knew everything. She wanted me to be here. She wanted us to be together. Look, just forget about it. I am not going back to Pine Valley. Dixie, come on! There's no time for this, damn it. By now, by now, Brian and Junior are already at the airport. How do you know that? It doesn't matter. Charlie and Haley have gone there to find them. You don't know what you're talking about. I do. If you'll just, if you'll just come back with me, come home with me, everybody in Pine Valley will back me up. Goodbye, Mr. Orsini. Dixie, come on. Don't do this. I'm right here on the other side of this door. All you've got to do is open it. It's me. I swear it. Dixie, come on. Whatever happened to us, don't you remember? Together, forever. Dixie, I love you. I know I made you that promise. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my word. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. I do love you. It's the only reason I came back. You don't know me. You're Ted Orsini. No, I'm not. I am not who you think I am. Hell, I'm not who I thought I was. Dixie, don't you remember the bridge? What happened? The accident? I lost my memory. It's why I was gone so long. I showed up in town uh, by accident. The minute I set foot in Pine Valley, I, I started to remember things. I started to remember you. Well, then why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you try and find me? Because I could only remember bits and pieces, even now. I remembered your face, your voice. I couldn't remember who, who you were, what your name was. I remembered how much I loved you. I can't believe I ever forgot. I, I remembered uh, the chicken fingers in the park. Or um, the lullaby, the way you used to sing, you are my sunshine, the junior, all the time. Adam told you those things. Anybody knows that? What about the bridge? I remember the accident, where I felt, where I saw you. You could have read that in the newspaper. All right, then. Dixie, listen to me. Ask me a question. One question, something personal, something intimate, something that only Tad Martin could have known. Dixie, please. The day Ted died, the day before he died, I gave him a present. A wedding present. What was it? What did it say? Tell me. Tell me. I don't remember. Adam couldn't tell you what I got you as a wedding gift, could he? I told you, I don't remember everything. I don't know why you're doing this, Mr. Orsini, but I hope you rot in hell for it's it. It's true. Dixie, if it weren't and I'd been alive, why else would I have stayed away for so long? 
You really expect me to believe this? If you don't believe it, then please, please just open the door. Look in my face. Ozzy! What? Ozzy and Harriet. Ozzy and Harriet. Ozzy and Harriet, what the? I don't know. It just popped into my mind. Don't ask me why. I don't know what it means. Does it mean anything, Dixie? You watch. You and I are going to be two of the greats in the Hall of Fame of romantic couples. Oh, come on. Like, no, like this. Romeo and Juliet. And then you and me. Oh, bad ending. Anthony and Cleopatra. Try no. again. Sean and Madonna. Oh. Ozzy and Harriet. <laughs> Ozzy! Vicky and Minnie. Oh, no! Kermit and Miss Piggy. Yes. All right, forget Ozzy and Harriet. Forget the Nelsons. It doesn't matter. The only thing that's important is you and me. Dixie, please. I... I can't make my... I can't make the memories come back. I'd do anything for you. I'd lay down my life for you or Junior. But I can't make myself remember. I'm sure you gave me the world's most perfect wedding gift when we got married, whatever it was. I just wish I knew what it was, but I don't. You just gave me I gave you a watch. Tension for you. Gray! Gray! What? You were wearing something gray. It was a, a, a white and gray knit sweater. A watch! It was a gold watch! You had it inscribed. It said, uh, time. Yours to the end of time. It said yours forever. Are they here? <laughs> you know, when they told me that you died, I wouldn't believe it. I said, you don't know it. And I waited, and I looked, and I looked, I couldn't. I'm thinking that I wasn't going to see you. I won't feel you again. Or 
I hear your voice. Day after day, I prayed. And I waited, but I just couldn't do it anymore. It was too painful. So I had to stop. The waiting. Sitting and waiting for a miracle. But this is... This is... Is one of those people who just didn't like the word mother, did she? Yeah. Oh, thank you. She told me a whole story, you know? How she found her. She was a great lady who really cared about her. It's one of those people that you really like, even though you've only known her for a short time. I'm so sorry. She was a real believer in faith. You know that? She believed in you and me. I thought it was a little much when she offered you help. No, <laughs> 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 what little did you think, huh? You thought. You were oh, no I just... fun. Two years. Two years she was my mother, you know? All our memories of her, of her son became my past and my present. She was... A miracle. <laughs> she loved you, you know. Uh, she adored you. She could never stop talking about her. Her, her patient advocate, she... Uh, she down talking about you. The last words were about you. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought she was um, delirious, that she would confuse you with someone else, you know? Her heart was giving out, and the last thing she thought about was whether or not I was going to be left alone. So I lied to her. I told her that, um, that we'd seen each other, that, 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 that we'd that worked everything out. That's the heart. She deserved it. She died happy. You know what? I don't think it matters. I'll bet you anything in the world. Right now, she's up there somewhere. Toasting us. Miracles. Fate. You and me. You okay? I'm in total shock. <laughs> You're in total shock. Imagine how I felt. Showing up in, in Pine Valley on uh, some kind of fluke, walking around having these weird thoughts, <laughs> headaches, flashbacks. <laughs> You okay now? I haven't felt this good since Christmas Eve. Yeah. Where were you Christmas Eve? In Pine Valley. In a, in a park. Which one? The one by the hospital. You were in the park. Yeah. The one by the the hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I would have seen you. Was it? Was it? Was it still snowing? No. No, it was clear. 
It was, uh, it was just after Junior's Christmas pageant, which was really depressing. I mean, the idea of spending Christmas Eve with Adam was, uh, Wouldn't be like Christmas. No. I don't think I've ever felt so scared and alone in my life. So I wished, wished on, on a star. star. took long enough, but, uh... I think I just got my wish. 